cool. How's it going guys? It's Devin here again with Make Anything and I'm pretty excited to show you this little thing in front of me right here. So what is it? Uh, well, let me demonstrate. So I call this thing a Galactop because it's got a kind of spiral design that reminds me of a spiral galaxy. Although I guess it functions more like a wind turbine. Basically the way this thing works is I use this straw and I blow air straight down. It goes into all these different channels that direct the air out through the side of the top at uh, an angle, kind of tangent, to the top. And as we all know, Newton's third law states that every action has an equal and opposite reaction. So when the air gets pushed in one direction, the top is pushed in the opposite direction, which causes it to spin. I guess I'm just a total nerd, but I think this is super cool for a few reasons. I mean, of course, it's just a fun toy. And second of all, it makes a great physics demonstration of Newton's third law. But of course, it's a great example of what 3D printing can do. Not only because this is a super intricate part, but because this is something that I had to create a lot of different versions to get it to work this well. And without the ability to make a lot of little changes and test out all the different options, um, this probably wouldn't be spinning so nicely. And you'll see that in my process because, well, I've got a whole box of prototypes. So as you can see, it took more than one try to end up with this top right here. And um, I'm going to talk to you guys about how I went through this whole process of coming up with different tops until I ended up with something that really works. And then at the end of it all, we're going to see if we can't get this big boy to spin. Yeah, mega top. All right. <laughs> so what you're seeing here is my very first version of this top. So as you can see, it's totally enclosed and it required a straw to be put inside of this hole on the top. And then the air would be directed through these spiral holes, just like my final version. And I also had to split the model right here in order to print it in two parts and not have to deal with supports. For that reason, I also came up with this other version. And instead of spinning on a plastic point, it uses a steel marble. And here's a slight variation that has this panel here to kind of direct the air outward instead of downward. So I printed all of those out. As you can see, this is before I had my new build plate. So I was still dealing with that crazy painter's tape. But anyways, I used some super glue and carefully aligned the bottom and top so that everything was centered. And my very first top actually did spin pretty well. So I could have stopped there, but there was a lot of possibilities, so I wanted to keep trying out different things. And here's that top that uses a marble. While it didn't spin very well, I realized I could get the top to spin without having to stick a straw right up to it. And that made me more curious about making a good top that spins without having to actually touch the straw. So from there, I made this other version that uses a marble, but it's more like just a regular old fan. But it spins quite nicely, even just breathing on it. And with a straw, I was able to get it to spin pretty darn fast. I kind of combined everything that I learned from these initial tops and came up with a new design that I thought looked much cooler. So I call this one the Pulsar. And what's unique about it is that it has this shroud over the top that kind of forces the air to go out through the channels. But it's also got a big enough opening that you don't have to stick a straw right into it. Unlike other air assisted tops that I found after making these, these direct air outwards and that creates less turbulence underneath the top. So I think that helps it spin a little bit longer.
Still, I wanted to test with some more designs, so I came up with this top, which I call Andromeda. And the fans go all the way to the center, so I hoped that, that would make it spin better, but it's still got that slope in the center so that the air is directed smoothly downward and away from the top. And this was the first top where I could actually feel the top like lock in the place without touching it. And with some practice, I was even able to direct it around the table. That worked so well that I just started making a bunch of different variations on the same idea. So as you can see, I tested things like different hole openings and different numbers of channels. I tested them all objectively and figured out which one works the best. Once I had a great top, I started focusing on the straw. I printed one that has a nicer looking taper, and I also sliced it using vase mode in Simplify 3D, so the entire thing is printed with one continuous line of filament. There's not really anything too crazy going on here, but it's just really satisfying to watch, so let's just feast our eyes on that for a second. The new straw worked great, and I also came up with another design that I could print in a single part. While this one's a little tougher to control than my other tops, the fact that you can print it in one piece without supports is pretty cool. I also made another version that's scaled up to 150% using this metallic filament from Rigid Ink, and I really like how that came out. So now that I had a few tops that were spinning really well, I wanted to see how fast I can get these things to go. And that meant upgrading from my lungs to a 100 PSI air compressor. Oh yeah. Some of the tops were pretty tough to control, while others, like Pulsar here, went kind of insane. Although, after spinning it that fast a few times, the tip became pretty dull. But you don't care, do you? You just want to see that giant top spinning, don't you? Okay, well, here we go. I did, in fact, print this giant top. And it's big. It's about as big as my printer could handle without splitting it up into way more parts. Unfortunately, while this was printing, the filament got tangled on the spool. But I wasn't about to let that stop me. I just printed the rest of the model separately and then glued the parts together afterwards. And voila, we have a massive Galactop. And this is one that you definitely can't spin with your own breath. But with the compressor, it works quite well. But it's just not crazy enough, is it? So I thought of using something more powerful, like a leaf blower. I think that'll do, let's see. Pretty cool, right? And I'm just showing you the times when it didn't spin out of control and fly across the garage. So as you can see, I ended up with a bunch of different kinds of tops. Some work better than others, but I just think all of them are super fun. Alright folks, well that's it for this episode, but I am going to be updating you guys on this because I'm printing out some of these tops from Shapeways in transparent materials and stainless steel. And those are gonna be really cool, I have a feeling. They're still on their way in the mail though, so I'll show that to you a couple weeks down the line. And actually, you can get these printed out in some cool materials yourself, because I'm making it available in my Shapeway store. So make sure to check that out in the description. If you're just like crazy rich, I wanna see someone print this out in 14 karat gold. I mean, just saying. Also, if you have your own 3D printer, I'll make some of the less complicated versions available for you to print at home. 
and that should be super cool as well. I've already got a few ideas bouncing around in my head of how I can take advantage of this cool little technology. So make sure to subscribe and stay tuned, cause there's always more coming up. Until then, I'm Devin, this is Make Anything. Don't forget, stay inspired.